Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> I know I'm a uh, single white male from South Carolina, and I'm told I should shut up, but I will not shut up if that's okay, because I got here the same way everybody else did. The people in South Carolina voted for me and Senator Scott to be their voice, men and women. And I'm going to try to be their voice today. And uh, maybe not just for South Carolina, but a little bit about what I think is going on here. Joe Biden, I can't believe we're saying this on our side. Listen to Joe. But Joe was right a lot. Joe Biden's a unique guy. If you had one last conversation before you die, you'd want to have it with Joe. You'd be around for a while. He's a decent guy. If he runs for president, he'd be hard to beat. He came to Senator Thurmond's funeral and gave a long eulogy. And I asked him, Joe, I said, that was incredible. This can't help you in Delaware. He said, I just like the old guy. I didn't agree with him, and I didn't like some of the things he did in his life, but when I was down and out, he was there for me. And to my colleagues on the other side, this will end, and we'll see what we do next. I hope we can muster the ability to move forward, but some observations about where we find ourselves and how we got here. Uh, I wrote a book, and I think Senator Blumenthal is the only person I know that actually read it. It was online. I ran for president, and I got 1%, so I have had my time to be president. Didn't go very far, and I lost. I didn't think Trump would win. I ran out of adjectives to describe about how I felt about his campaign. Well, he won, and I lost, and he's president. And I'll try to help him where I can and say no when I must, and the election's over for me. I would like to tell him that you had a choice to make for the Supreme Court vacancy of Justice Kennedy, I think you did a good job, Mr. President. For somebody who's supposedly crazy and there's chaos everywhere, he did a good job here. Now, why difference between Gorsuch and Kennedy? I mean, excuse me, Gorsuch and Kavanaugh. It's the Kennedy seat. If you don't get that, you're not paying much attention. Gorsuch is an even swap for Scalia. But this is high-stake stuff, right? This is the seat. Or the guy in the middle is at risk. Kavanaugh clerked for Justice Kennedy. Would you have picked him? No. But you lost the election. And that does have consequences. When I said it about Obama winning, uh, I'm in it. Merrick Garland. Scalia dies in the election year, the last year of the term of President Obama, the primaries are already underway. Not in a hundred years has anybody been nominated under that circumstance, so I don't think I did anything unfair with Garland. As to Sotomayor and Kagan, I was told on our side, you've got to keep them off the court because they're going to be a pro-choice vote. They hate guns. On and on and on. And I tried to go back to what this committee used to do. Strom Thurmond voted for Ginsburg. You'll never convince me that it was because he agreed with her philosophy. I think he saw in her a qualified person. Fritz Hollings voted for uh, Scalia. The same is true. 96 and 97 votes. What's happened? Most of the nominees Supreme Court have never had a hearing. It was always just assumed that they're qualified and they're not hacks, that they're going to go forward. Elections do matter. When it comes to President Trump, elections do matter. Now, about the law, and to my friends who have been prosecutors. I've been a prosecutor, I've been a defense attorney, and I've been a judge. Every woman who's been victimized needs to be heard, count me in a thousand times over. Count me in for the proposition for every one woman who comes forward, only God knows how many women and children go to their grave with the abuse. 
If you don't realize that, you just don't know <clears throat> this area of life. But you're going to be heard in the United States. I had a young man accused of sexual assault when I was in the Air Force as a defense attorney. The case eventually fell apart, and he almost killed himself. I had women who have been gang raped and didn't want to testify, but they did. Along with counselors, I sat up with them all night. Tough stuff. Emotional. Who to believe? I've been doing this legal stuff most of my life. I've never heard a more compelling defense of one's honor and integrity than I did from Brett Kavanaugh. He looked me in the eye, everybody in the eye, and he was mad, and he should have been mad. He could tell you where he was at and what he was doing during high school in a way that just blew me away. Brett Kavanaugh and women. <clears throat> if you're a gang rapist when you're a sophomore and a junior in high school, you don't let it go. Every woman who actually knows Brett Kavanaugh has come forward to say he is not that kind of guy. He has been at the highest level of public service under tremendous scrutiny, six FBI investigations, and we missed the sophomore junior gang rapist. We didn't miss it. It's much garbage. We're in the twilight zone, and here's what I would say. Miss Ford. All I can say about Miss Ford, I feel sorry for her, and I do believe something happened to her, and I don't know when and where, but I don't believe it was Brett Kavanaugh, and as a prosecutor, you couldn't get out of the batter's box because in America, before you can uh, accuse somebody of a crime, you have to tell them when it happened and where it happened, and you have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt it did happen. The reason this case will never be brought in Maryland or anywhere else, you just can't get there. If you wanted to get a warrant, which is a probable cause standard, to search or arrest somebody, you've got to prove by probable cause where it happened and when it happened. How are you supposed to defend yourself? Is the burden really on you to prove that you were not at a party 35 years ago and they won't tell you where it was and when it was? So all I can say is that under any reasonable standard, any concept of the rule of law, <clears throat> this would not go forward. 